better. All right, guys. I need your support. I need your support in the chat, please. We are the first official Pokemon Sun in Caribbean. Alright guys, it's your boy Firefox and we're here at MVE Collectibles. I told y'all we was coming down to make the video where we get the cards. So we're here with Mark Amali, the Amarali. owner. Sorry? Amarali. Amarali, sorry. The owner of MVE Collectibles and we just want to interview him, kind of get a sense of the Pokemon community and you know how it all is in Toronto Tobago because without some of you guys, I didn't even know that it had Pokemon so big in Toronto Tobago and other um, TCG like collectibles and that kind of thing. So we're going to Find out from the source themselves. So, I mean, to start off, how how did you all get started here at MVE? Well, originally we were actually based in California, all right, on the uh, main road, and um, so after a few years of being there, we moved here in 2016, mm -hmm. and we opened up here because I mean, what beats a mall? Nothing beats a yeah, mall yeah, location, yeah. right? Um, so this is really just was a passion of mine at first. Okay, so, and yeah. I mean, what were, you had any challenges getting to this? position here like in this oh, world and kind of thing. A, a lot <laughs> like what are some of the challenges you face? i mean just just being accepted as a as a viable you know hobby in general i mean everybody was um you know this is for children this and stuff mm -hmm. but you know three quarters of our customers are adults adults right right, right. and then you know just you know building up to being a viable store getting the the bodies that be to recognize us mm -hmm. as you know a viable source of you know like we can be a hobby store official store Mm -hmm. So those are, you know, some of the main challenges. And, well, I heard yes, you use the word official. So this is what, how is a store categorized in terms of Pokemon TCG and some of the other games that you play like Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece in terms of official? So we are, we are, we are, we are the first official Pokemon store in the Caribbean right. since I believe 2015, 2014. Mm -hmm. um, we are one of, I believe we were the second official Yu-Gi-Oh! store in the Caribbean. Okay. That's since 2013, I believe. Mm -hmm. And we are the, we're the first official One Piece store in the Caribbean. That's since 2022. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and obviously, being an official store for some of these games, what are some of the events? Are you like allowed to hold official events and that kind right. of thing? Right. Yeah. Games? So, we have what's called sanction events. All right. So, sanction events are basically what you'd call official, where we'd have to apply for them to be bodies that be. Mm -hmm. And they would, you know, allow us to have those events. And those will be for official points, official right. rewards. Some cases, like na the national event that's coming up for Yu-Gi-Oh! in May. Mm -hmm. It's one of the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! events we have for the, for the year. So what you're saying, if somebody in Trinidad is interested in going probably away to some of these big tournaments, they can come here and play to earn points yeah. to go to that? Earn points, earn qualifications mm -hmm. to go to World Championship qualifiers, different things like that. All right. And I mean... What was, you all have any events coming up soon? Yeah, so for, for Yu-Gi-Oh! and me, we have the National, which is the biggest event for the year. All right. That's in, um, right in uh, Center Point Mall, the auditorium. Okay. About two minutes away from here. Mm -hmm. And then that's a two-day event. That's the 25th and 25th of May. All right. Right, that qualifies the top 128 players to go to the WCQ, which is the World Championship Qualifiers in either Peru or Chile, I believe, this year. I'm not sure. Exactly. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Right. For One Piece, we haven't gotten the status of One Piece, to, well, Bandai hasn't really issued um, stores, the, given stores the opportunity to host regionals yet. Okay. But they are going to do so soon. They have made an announcement. So hopefully we're looking at a regional for One Piece maybe within the next six months. Mm -hmm. And Pokemon, we actually on Saturday, which is um, a couple of days from now, right. we're having our, our league challenge, which is for Worlds points for players to qualify to go Worlds for Pokemon. And so I, those are I some guess I, I would have seen... That going on right now on YouTube, there's there's a few things yeah, going yeah. on for that leading up to Worlds. Uh, yeah, correct. This yeah. would be an event as part of that. Yes, part of that, yes. All right, okay. Yeah. I mean, what are some of the most memorable tournaments you've had here 
you know, it was the biggest in store one that you or... had here in Trinidad or in the Caribbean for Trinidad. So that, the... that would have to be for Yu-Gi-Oh. Or Yu-Gi-Oh mm-hmm. has all biggest events. All right. You know, we have, we've had close to 300, 300 plus tournament, mm-hmm. people tournaments. Um, um, and we've had um, UDS championships, which is in 2017, okay. where the vice president of the Latin American Yu-Gi-Oh Association came down. He brought yes. down like, I think it was 17 judges Official from different, different parts of Latin America. And we mm-hmm. had a really amazing event. We had a few foreigners come down and play. All right. So that was a really um, prestigious event because it was invite only. So that was that was probably the most pre- prestigious event we ever had. All right. And um, so it's only for this store specifically, is it only Pokemon, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece? Or are there other things that... Well, we do Magic the Gathering as time. well. Okay. Yeah. Right. And we have, we, we have a very... Um, loyal following for that. It's not mm-hmm. as large as the other games, right? But it's certainly a very it's it's the oldest TCG mm-hmm. and probably one of the most respected TCGs I think out there. All right. And well, yeah. I see right now in the location there are persons going at it in some different matches. If we have Yu-Gi-Oh going on, we have um, One Piece, One Piece going on. I mean, is this a usual thing that you all have? Yeah, we normally have guys coming and playing and sit down and casually playing and relaxing. Some of the guys, newer guys will come, we'll teach them some, some of the basics of the games and all that. Do you all have like local events as well? Yeah, every, so we have a full schedule every weekend almost, mm-hmm. you could say. So on, um, some, well, most Saturdays would either be Pokemon or One Piece. Right. Um, then you'll have Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering on Sundays. And okay. sometimes even on Fridays, we have Friday Night Pokemon or Friday Night um, One Piece, and depending. So, well, I am basically fresh into the tcg side well i know you recently right? started but yeah. what would be advice i mean unlike me who went and spent my life savings when i now <laughs> start what's what's somebody good advice you would give to somebody who wants to get into po- pokemon tcg Yu-Gi-Oh, or one um, piece i think you have to decide early on whether you want to be a player mm-hmm. or a collector or both and that's going to really determine how you how you approach the hobby as a collector you want to collect certain things right some collectors want to master set, like this Temple Force is a new set. Yes. They want to collect every card in it. They want to master set it, mm-hmm. right? But as a player, you don't need to collect all this. You need a few cards, four or five cards from the set. So you will approach buying sets differently. All right. Right? It's about expenditure too, right? Yeah, that, yeah. That's the bottom line. So you would want, as a, as a, as a player, you might buy set, uh, singles. Mm-hmm. We may be selling singles, or you may want to buy one or two products, but you wouldn't want to spend all that money to get everything in your set. Yeah. Whereas as, as both a collector and player now, that's difficult. That's where... That's money. Yeah, that's where, you know, you, you want to get, get all the nice looking cards, but you also want to play. Mm-hmm. And as you know by now, with, with building a Pokemon deck, it's four cards. Mm-hmm. Similar for Yu-Gi-Oh, there's three cards of each you'd need for each card. All right, to play. To play. Right. If you want to build a deck for one piece, it's four of each card. Magic, it's four of each card. Mm-hmm. So if you have like a high-end card that you need to get, I mean, that's expensive. Well, yeah. <laughs> we're talking cards in a Pokemon store. I mean, in a card store, so we might as well open something. I feel so. Yeah. You say the word, which one? I mean, what do you guys want to see open? Okay, we have Temporal Forces that was recently released this month, right? Yeah, um, uh, last like week. Like a few days ago. Yeah. So maybe we can open one of these. I mean, my yeah. favorite, I think, would be the Walking Wake. So I well, think let's, let's go. go into a Walking Wake. Let's go. I will send you to Jesus. Really oh, do body, body button. So I was really told good. that this is one of the highly playable cards. Right? Highly sought after. Highly sought that's after. Like a, that's like a hit, right. basically. Okay, so we have one hit. I yeah. think this has one guy. <laughs> <laughs> this prof mod and... Jesus Christ! Hey, hey, hey. Body popping for the win, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have our Bianca's Devotion, man. Really get the pull on the first pack. You know, I gave him that pack, yeah. I just went over, <laughs> yeah. Can we sleep? Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. So you can see live how he's sleeping. Pretty cool. The man is quick with it. You know what? I, I concede. I concede. I concede. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Incineroar EX. What is going on? <laughs> the packs are rigged. <laughs> he chose the better packs. We have Incineroar EX and look at those stars on that. That's beautiful. Jeez. Nah, man. Imagine if he gets a hit in every pack that he opens. Oh, another one. Teacher. That's being played. Oh! 
No, do I take the win for this one? I feel so, you know. I feel so. I feel so. I feel. I feel you had to take the win for that one. I feel like I had to take the win on this one. I feel you had to take the win on that one. Walking wake ex. I don't know why is it gold. Is there a reason? A secret rare. It's a secret rare. Yeah. Jeez. Well done. Well done. Look at that. I feel you had to take the win for that one. It's only because he said it in this pack. I'm letting you all know that right now. And then would have been nice if that was another hit too. Jeez. Look at that. That card is beautiful. Yeah, put that center up on that center. Reverse hello, Metagross. Oh, that's beautiful. Snub. I was hunting this card. Illustration ray, that's beautiful. I was hunting this card. That look is at beautiful. That, snum. that is beautiful. And see the shoot? Jeez. <laughs> all yours. You guys, it's a lot of fun opening packs as you all have seen me enjoying myself opening these packs over the past few weeks. We're gonna see a lot more of it. And hopefully you can see myself in some Ornaments here. Yeah, I think well. so. Yeah. I mean, you have two body buffing already. So I, mean, I mean, so I set for <laughs> a way to build in a good deck. Guys, be sure to check out uh, MVE Collectibles. We'll leave the location on the screen right now. So, and in the comments, and we'll tag them in everything that we're in. So, be sure to check them out. It's Boy Firefox and Mark Armali. Yeah? Amrali. Amrali, sorry. Yes. Uh, until next time, peace out.